Hello everyone. Let's today we will discuss about HANA database. Okay, so today we will see how to connect uh, HANA database with HANA Studio. Okay, so let's start. So this is we have a BW HANA with ECC demo access. Okay, so we will try to connect HANA Studio with HANA database. Okay, so let's continue. So let's we have to connect first remote desktop okay let's see you can copy paste this ip address to this remote connections okay and you have to click connect okay it will ask the username and password so already username is given just give the password here okay and click okay so now you can see you are connected uh, successfully uh, to the remote HANA database or BW or ECC system. Okay, so you can see if you click on login, SAP login pad, you will see already uh, the configurations are available BW, HANA or ECC. Okay, so today we will see how to connect a HANA database basically with a HANA studio. Okay, so what you need to do just double click on your hana studio you can see we have an icon here hana studio just double click on this if you double click on this okay it will open like this this is the hana studio okay then you can go to the window and there is a called perspective open perspective okay and there is more options are also there okay if you want to close all perspective you want to close a specific perspective if you want to reset it, if you want to save it, you can, if you want some customize, you can do it, okay? So just, I would like to open here perspective. If you just go to here, you can see there is a many perspectives are there, like ABAP modeling, if, if you want to do ABAP modeling, you can do it. BW modeling, okay? We have a many more Java related, Java script resource, okay? By default, that is, you can see here, HANA admin console, by default, that is, a, Okay, that is a by default, uh, it is available. Okay, you can see modeler, we have so many things are there, so many tools are available here. So here, if you want uh, SAP administration console, just click here and click open. Okay, so it is open by default. Okay, even you can see the right panel, we have open perspective also, icons are also available. So depend upon either you can go window and select a perspective, or you can write panel, you will have a perspective. We have we have a administrative perspective, we have a BW, we have a modeler, depend upon okay, what perspective, okay. You can select from here. Okay, whatever you want, you can select from here. Okay. So currently, okay, I'm in the default admin station console perspective. Okay. So now here you can see there is an option called add. Okay. I would like to add your database, okay, HANA database with HANA Studio, okay. So let's, okay, click here and go to add system. So I'm going to add the HANA database, okay. So let's here, we have some detail of HANA database. We have a HANA host name, you can put it here, HANA host name, okay. Then we have an instance number that is 00, zero. and you can description put it like a HANA database. And you can see the local that is uh, any languages like I have selecting here English. Okay, and folder if you have, if you want to put any folder, you can choose here. Otherwise, you can skip this one. Then you have to select a next. Okay, under next, you will have a two options either authentication by current operating system user or database user. So I am going to log in with a database user. Okay, so I am putting here user and password so here you can see we have a user this is the user and password we have it yes and now click next okay now auto connect okay you can see this is the host okay. and now click on finish now you can see the left panel okay your hana database successfully connected with hana studio Okay, now you can just uh, navigate the each folder. You can see this is a catalog. 
so catalog includes your schema you can see these are the all schema are available so many schema are there if you want to create you can create the schema okay so how you can create it will tell you detail you can see the sql open oscal console also available okay using this we can create the schema okay we will tell you how to create it under schema let's see if you want to know under schema you will have all kind of views table triggers okay sequence procedure all the options like okay available you can see even all the views are available indexes functions procedures everything tables views all are available under catalog okay now content next we have a content okay so content includes your all views okay whatever views so before going to create a view you should create a package so this is a package you can see this is a okay this is a cal 00, 00 cal c is a package okay or you can see 00, 00 abc is a package if you just double click on this you will see whatever the attribute view analytical view calculation view all view you can create under packages here okay so how you can create a package just right click here and go new and create package okay similarly once the package has been created similarly you can right click on the packages okay and you can create like attribute view analytical views okay calculation view procedure decision table you can create it okay so we will discuss later in detail this is a just a, a demonstration session how we can log in and how can work with this ana studio so you can see if you just double click here you will see the attribute view okay if you analytical views and calculations views are also available okay so these are the basically options even you can see under provisioning okay provisioning is a tool kind of uh, options where you can extract the data either flat file or third party tool using smart data accesses okay even see here you can see remote sources are available okay if you see ecc are there okay you can directly pull the data from ecc or some other sources into hana database okay using hana studio okay now the options last one that is security so security basically use for basis or security guys who can create the users okay and assign the roles so you can see here many users are available okay you will see if you just double click you will see so many users are available so these user maintained by the security or basis guy in the real world okay now you can see roles okay these are the roles so depend upon the users okay requirement the basis people or security guys assign the roles for their business purpose okay so these are the options are available okay if you right click on the hana database if you right click here you will see here many options if you want to open sql if you if you want to go for the hana modeler if you want to design some schema and all you can go here okay even you can see new okay you can new anything if you want to different user add you want to system you can you can remove it log up refresh property so many things are there all options are available so based on your requirement okay you can do it if you want to property just click here property you will see all the property related to this hana database you can see additional properties host to connect whatever the yes port number and host name so many things are there all the detail available here so depend upon your requirement you can check it if you double click on this you will see here just double click on this you, you can see here this is the related to all the hana database you can see hana database overview all the hana database like related to sap hana used memory this you can see this is the like uh, 56.3 okay gb uh, has allocated already okay disk spaces okay everything is there okay residence uh, memory cpu uses so all sap related or hana related database related all the information would be here under this is a you can say a hana administrative console okay which is basis or security guys are monitoring this system okay this uh, basically prospective mainly for hana administrative console used by the basis or security person to check the system properties okay if in case if 
okay if it is uh, under control okay they can check okay and accordingly they can enhance the database and security and all okay then landscape you can check the landscape here what are the server available okay and how if you want to disable anything so and know and what server is basically taking in memory and how many locations are there you can see here okay alerts are is anything happening in the system okay so you can see some here alert okay so the security person know okay and they can alert and inform to the entire team okay related to this if in case any issues performance you can check here all the performance this is the port services connection id thread id everything so are available and users name available okay how okay which are which process is taking how much time every uh, performance related uh, information would be here okay even volume are there okay you can see even configuration system related uh, information you can see just double click you will see all the system related information like how many connections are there database related information so failed backup merge statics so these are the options are uh, available you can see dynamic diagnosis files are there if you have some diagnosis you will see here some the files okay would be here okay and trace configurations also would be here so these are the basically the part of basis of security guys okay who are monitoring okay daily basis if in case any unpredictable work would be there they alert to entire team so the control database control uh, part is the basis uh, guys okay who are taking care of this okay so these are the we can see so depend upon so these are the basically initial how we can log in into hana studio okay using hana database so this is the some brief introduction about this so more detail we will discuss into next session okay so this is we have a demonstration for sap hana connections how we can connect the hana database with hana studio thank you for watching this video have a nice day